A New York student finally getting the green light to start a conservative club on campus after a long two-year battle. Harrison High School junior Luke Wong asked administrators if he could launch a Young Americans for Freedom chapter during his freshman year, but he was shot down. After his third try, he got legal help from Alliance Defending Freedom and is now finally able to paint the school red. Luke Wong and his attorney, Tyson Langhofer, join us now. Good morning to you. Thank you for having us. You're welcome. Thanks for being here. So, Luke, tell me about the club and why you were shot down. What exactly happened? So, after I learned about Young Americans for Freedom, I was really energized by their ideas, um, by their strong conservative ideas of free speech, limited government, and traditional values. And I just wanted to bring those ideas to my campus. And I really thought that the administration would be willing to go for because school is supposed to be the ultimate marketplace of ideas. And they just shot me down, not once, not twice, but three times. Oh, my um, gosh. And, and, and really, I, I really, after my first rejection, I really had to think to myself, is this worth it? Because facing a large administration is very daunting. Um, but. But but after my but after I first applied to, to have the club, I spoke to students about it, and they thought it was really important, and that made me realize: well, if I don't do this, who would? So I know that the school is saying the reason they did this, or the school district, they're claiming that your club is not open to everyone who might might uh, be interested, or to all at the school or in the district. But I know that you got legal help, and uh, Tyson stepped in. Tyson, tell us what what's your argument to that to the school statement. Well, the argument is when the school opens up a forum for student groups, they have to allow all student groups. And the First Amendment has uh, held that for a very long time. The Supreme Court's very clear when student groups are allowed to meet, all student groups must be allowed to meet. And YAF is open to all, all um, students. Everyone is welcome at YAF's uh, meetings. And in fact, Luke is welcoming them because he wants to bring a different perspective on, here on campus. Like you said, he's passionate about free speech and this this uh, virtue of free speech should start early here on our high school campuses. All right, so this is the statement from the school district. Harrison High School followed the same review process for the Young Americans for Freedom Club application that is applied to all extracurricular clubs. The district requested modifications to the original club proposal because it appeared that membership was not open to all students, which is a requirement for all extracurricular clubs. The applicant modified the club proposal and the application was subsequently approved. Luke, what's your response to that? Well, well, the school can't make any statement that they would like, but the bottom line is is that they were violating my First Amendment right to to speak on campus about my about my beliefs by denying my by denying my young Americans for freedom chapter. School officials should really encourage free speech and not shut it down. Schools have no official schools have no business denying recognition based on arbitrary standards um, of free speech based on arbitrary standards of free speech. How many people have joined the club now? Um, we have we have about 20 people in our Google Classroom so far, and I really hope to have even more at our meeting. And your first meeting is tomorrow? Yes, it is. It's been quite a fight. Was it worth it? Absolutely. I, absolutely. I, I mean, of course, I, of course, as I said before, it is a very daunting thing to stand up to to a large administration. But I'm really thankful for all of the help that ADF and YAF has provided me throughout these long two years. And I'm really excited to start. And I really think that I can enact some serious change at change at my school. Well, Luke, I wish you all the best. You sound like a smart kid and uh, doing good things. So God bless you and Tyson. Thanks for getting involved and coming on the show. Absolutely. Thanks so much for having You're us. You're welcome.